Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Orlunda. If you are joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all. Welcome if you're a long time subscriber. Yay! Hey Swag fam, how's it going? Hoodio. So, I've got new goodies today. I am doing a one brand makeup um, look today and testing out new products. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. And then, uh, let's get into this. So, I got some new brushes as well for this. And these are brushes that I got in Clicks. The tags are still on. I haven't actually used them at all. I mean, this ones are like 250 I bought them for 99 as well as this ones. So, I'm really happy to try out new brushes because your girl needed new brushes. Also, I'm very lazy to wash. I really am. Also, I really like this one because they are the Echo Tools Six Piece Essential Eye Collection brushes, and they are, I think, eco-friendly um, brushes, cruelty-free, um, tree-free paper, and renewable bamboo brushes. So that's that. They come five in a, a thingy key. So. I'm going to use them and then I got mascara I got their blush I got their eyebrow kit and then I got a quad eyeshadow um, palette so I have everything in this palette I mean in this brand that I could use and to create a look the only thing i couldn't find of theirs was that was out of stock is the primer i went to all the clicks and so two things that are not going to be part of the smudge brand off the offset already will be the the primer that i'm going to use and of course the lashes and the glue that was not going to be like smudge stuff i'm going to do eyebrows first yeah i'm going to go like my usual one i'll do eyes first I'll start off with the eyebrow kit. It looks really cute. It's very powder eyebrow stuff. This is the wax. And that's a lighter version. That's a dark one. I want I hope it's dark enough for my brows. I'm going to start off with the wax. I'm going to use their thingy kits, nice and small. I'm really whitening my eyebrows. It's whitening my eyebrows. Can you see that? This wax. Not my favorite thing. I'm going with a smaller angled brush and go into the powder. Ooh, I like this powder. There's literally nothing new to my eyebrow routine. Um, same one that I usually use. I have two videos up on my channel. I'll put the link up here and then you can um, check both links and see my eyebrow routine I'm using different products. This is the third product that I'm using. I think that is different because the first one I use the Maybelline product, second one was signature stuff. But I'll put those two links up here and in the description box and you can see how I do my eyebrows. Same process. Doesn't make other products. It is just the same process. But I like how this one's look it's giving me a very lighter um, feel compared to my very to my dark look that I really like. So so far so good. Okay, now that I've done that, I am going to do my 
eyeshadow. They have this beautiful, oh, this quad is so pretty. Look at how pretty that is, that blue, black. That's a white and that's a silver gray-ish. So that one there. And then they put in this funny thing here. I'm not gonna use any of those though. So, yeah. Anyway, but I like this. So I'm gonna start off very lightly and I don't even know what I'm going for. But I'm gonna start off with the blue as my transition shade. Pigment is pretty. I'm going to use a more deep, more smaller blending brush, and I'm going to go into the black. Go right into my crease. And I'm going to take a more flat brush and I'm going to go into that silver there and in those areas that are open I'm just going to fill that in there Simple enough and pretty, mind you. I still I didn't use my normal white base that I would that I would use that I use in my for like shimmers like this. So I bet it will look the pop more and more beautifully. I don't know what the proper word is. Not bad actually, not bad. And then I go into their mascara. Someone might ask, why do I put mascara on my lashes if I'm going to put, it looks so nice, if I'm going to put um, lashes on, this works because my lashes are very curly, I have those type of like curly lashes, so this helps just pull them out and make them a little bit more straighter, and plus they are very short, so they curl within themselves, the mascara pulls them up more properly, I don't even know what I'm putting on the bottom yet, so... We're gonna continue on and I'm gonna prime my face. The foundation that I'm using for this exercise is the almond, um, it's in the shade almond. I, guys, I went into the shop when I was doing the when I was buying the foundations, I it's this time of like you know Corona and everything happening, and so there are no tests in the shop, and their products are very limited. So the one I could find closest to my skin shade at the time is almond. Usually my shade in most in like generic shade in most brands is mahogany, but I couldn't find mahogany. So this is basically what this is. This is the luxurious silky foundation that gives a medium to full coverage for flawless radiant finish that lasts up to about 12 hours while it restores uneven skin textures and tones visibly for visibly brighter skin it is an airless pump it's 12 hour wear yeah long way perfecting full coverage foundation it's a medium to medium to full coverage so it means you can layer the foundation um which means you, have, you can put on one layer and then put on top of that another one to create like a fuller look that you want i will not test that at all but i mean from the bottle it looks like it's my shade i really hope it's my shade you know the pump is 30 mil and this is a very cheap foundation it was literally 30 dollars oh lord i probably make a mistake now but we'll finesse it if the something is if it's not the one looks a bit more light I'm gonna start very light in the center of my face.
still very light but it seems to be blending into my skin very well like there's nothing hmm. okay this is too light the joy of The joy of, well not the joy, but the, this happens a lot. You're going to the shop, learning moment, and you buy a foundation like this, and then you think it's your shade, you come home, and mm, in natural light, it looks very close to my skin, but the light on the camera looks very, very light. And this is my L'Oreal, you know, this is my Rimmel. It's in the shade Cappuccino, and I'm going to finish this foundation. So I'm going to take a pump. I'm gonna pump on this one and mix them together. So there we go. This is the foundation in between the two. It is still not my like perfect foundation, but it's nothing that a good conceal and contour will not be able to fix anyway. So for concealing, I bought two co concealers. I bought one in the shade. I think I mentioned it already. Mahogany and one in caramel. I want to see what mahogany looks like. I also have a feeling that this foundation oxidizes. I feel like I'm going to be darker at the end of this whole thing. So much for mixing. It doesn't look so bad in person. It looks like it blends in very, very nicely. Um, it looks more full coverage on the camera than it does in person. So I think it's all the light. Mahogany is my natural, like, normal, my natural shade. I'm going to use that to highlight and see what it looks like. Yeah. This is not even my shade, but maybe their concealers is like one shade lighter than usual. Okay. This is light. And it's thick even when applying it it feels really thick let's see what caramel looks like caramel is so much lighter i mean in comparison is it no in person not so much actually a eh? little bit undertones i think is the difference and so the other one comes up a little bit lighter than that one I went into clicks to look for like a nice blender and I couldn't find a blender so I just took over the old school wedges oh this corona is like messing up everything y'all getting products is an issue now you must wait for a cup for a while and you know clicks is my favorite type of blender I don't like getting blenders from just anybody or just any shop because they don't have the same consistency Ooh, uh, this Tay Flix spray has a beautiful look cap. Another cap, if you lose the one, you have that one. This is so cool, it looks like a spray bottle. I'm going to use this to wet my sponge. Mmm, has a fragrance that reminds me of. What does it remind me of? When I think about it, I'll let you know. So, I'm going to blend. Oh, old school. forget how much product a blend actually takes there <laughs> this is thick but it doesn't like dry up this concealer it does so you have to make sure that it doesn't it, let it sit too long it's very movable though
right now i'm going to go in and then set everything i'm only going to set a lot i'm going to go in with a translucent powder this pressing powder to set my under eye very lightly I'm not baking, just setting. Hmm. It's not really translucent, this is very white. That ruins the whole thing. So I'm just gonna set my entire face with the mahogany matte finish powder. I forgot about my lashes, but we'll put them on in the end, it's fine. So that there and try and set the entire face. Then I'm going to go in with the uh, Blush Duo. Basically what that looks like. Uh. Finally put lashes on. Guys, do you always have that one eye that just doesn't want to like cooperate with you? Ugh, so annoying. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish off this look with the lipstick. It's just color bold. Mm. That's what it looks like. It is literally in my range of colors. Cherry cherry burgundy. That's not so bad. That looks very nice. I like it. I like it. Then I'm going to set. I forgot to set my face. I'm not really a setting my face person at all. I just let me just set because I, I bought it now. So, now that we've done the final look, let me give you my final review of the products. Let's start at the top. My favorite one is this here. It's very difficult for me to find a good eyebrow situation for people of color, for black people, me, because, you know, for my skin type and darker, especially in our country. But this one is a very nice one. I don't know why it reminds me so much of the um, Essence one, although I don't like the Essence one at all. That pigment does not catch, and I don't like the wax. It's not like as hard as this one. So I really like this one. Mind you, all these products are cheap. This is like cheap. This is what we've for. I want to try makeup. I don't want to spend too much money. This is the product. Okay. So this is this. This cost me 50 bucks. This here. Even the powders cost me 50 bucks each. I think, I don't even think that I spend, in total, I don't think I spent more than maybe like $700 in total. Maybe even just $500. Because I didn't buy all of these things at once. Because um, I didn't find them in the clicks all at once. I like found the foundation here and found foundation and maybe powders in this clicks. And then I found the brow kit in the different cliques and I found the the concealers in the different cliques and then I went back to my closest cliques and then I found the mascara like that so maybe in total I think 500 bucks that's like 100 150 the most expensive thing is the foundation the foundation is 670 bucks so this is a very good like cheap product I'll calculate everything and maybe put a a value here for you and be like in total i spent this much money all this product so this is very very cheap i like it because um i love the way this sits on someone like me and i like the fact that it's dark enough for me and yet not too dark like my normal dark wax that i like my eyebrow um one key that i like from from signature this one here right 
so it's not as dark it doesn't look like it will sit well but it sits so nicely because that's usually my favorite one there these two are my favorite ones so i like the way that it sits maybe it's also because my eyebrows are groomed i don't know anyway but i love the way that it sits it's very nice the wax is good it reminds me of this wax here um i can actually replace my got to be glue spray that i use spray that i use to like brush my my eyebrows up with this wax because it sits nice made me a bit worried when it turned a bit white in the beginning but other than that i like it i don't have a problem with it and then it's for the eyeshadow quad it is very beautiful i like how pigmented it is without me having to without me having used my usual essence eyeshadow base that white one all i did was put a primer on and this is the look that i get i like that i finally have a black Although now in the long term it looks like it's a bit grey, but I still like the way that it looks. I like the sultry like um, silver grey that it gave me, and I like the little bit of white that I put on top. It's very very nice, not a problem. Um, my least favorite thing I think would be the foundation, only because I didn't find my exact shade. Um, why am I saying this? My least, that's my least favorite. My least favorite is still the is the the transparent translucent powder i think that's my least favorite so foundation foundation sits very well um i wish i'd found a primer though i really do but i'm really going to go out and find a primer i'm going to find its primer and then it's for the concealers concealers are very very thick and creamy they don't put them on for too long and then try in i don't know how they blend with a proper blender because i couldn't find one in the shops i just couldn't find so yeah it's a very nice blend what else i like this lipsticky it's really a moisturizing one i like it i can take it over having a moisture like a lip gloss i can use this one it's very lightweight i like that it makes my, my it makes my look feel like i did moisturize that's a very nice one most of the ones that i usually buy i usually mad products i don't know why i like my products when my face is already dry it's the most randomest thing in the world but i like the matte feel i like this feel that looks like nothing happened to my face even after eight hours of like wear so this is my type of like 12 hour you no know, long wear thing i don't like makeup that breaks up i really don't like it i get irritated i don't like it so i like the thing that how it sits um setting spray to be very redundant for me personally people with oily skin you want to put that on top to help your makeup set and yeah this one i bet they have better shades i don't like the shade that they have of their blushes and there should be better shades and i didn't find a highlighter either so i used a different highlighter but not so much that you like not so much i mean you can see on my nose but not so much in general so yeah i think this makeup actually oxidizes i don't know if it's because of the mix of the dark and the thingy that making it oxidize a little bit or it's just basically how it is i can't give you that right now i really like this setting powder it's not too don't use too much of this guys don't use too much of the setting of the press powder that your face doesn't look too cakey if you want to use, if you use a lot make sure you, you set it with the fixing spray afterwards just make sure everything is blended nicely but yeah i like how lightweight this is compared to most press powders that are cheap this is not my favorite one because it actually is white and they say it's supposed to be translucent it's supposed to look like i didn't apply anything but maybe it's because i'm dark skin for people more light skin maybe it doesn't show up at all but <clears throat> Yeah, maybe this help. You can always use something like this under makeup for people with like oily skin, translucent one. Um, I know under fund under foundation, like after primer foundation, um, primer powder and then foundation for people with oily skin. But other than that, this is a very good product. It's very cheap. I mean, very good brand. It's very cheap. It's one of the cheapest brands. I guess it will be go will go, go with this one smudge and then essence. I think yeah, essence is slightly more expensive even in their foundation ranges. This is more, slightly more expensive, so Smudge is like the cheapest one if you like in clicks and you're looking for a cheap foundation situation. It's sitting very nicely, I like the way that it looks. I really hope it really reflects nicely as it reflects in, in natural light here that I'm looking at. And the lighting just weird everything out. So yeah, those are my final thoughts. So I am really happy with this product. I like my new brushes, they are very travel size brushes. I'm going to put them away now for moments when I need to travel. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So I hope you like this and I hope you try the smudge products. It's really for like, I wanna save a coin, girl. That thing. Anyway, that's that.